Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. I'm NoCode and you're watching the NoCode Tech. And today I'm going to do an unboxing of the TYT TH350 Tri Band FM transceiver. Tri Band, so she does uh, what? Two meters. 220 and 70 centimeters. Let's see what's in the box. That's a nice box. It's kind of nice texture to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's textured. Really nice. I like this box. It's a box. Let's open it up. We have a manual. Some sort of channel storage and deleting. Verification. We have the radio itself is all right. Battery. Belt clip, which appears to attach to the battery instead of the transceiver itself, which is kind of a pain in the butt. However, yeah, we have a uh, drop in rapid charger. We have plug in wall wart for the rapid charger and two antennas two of them because one I guess is for uh, two meter and 70 centimeters and the other one is for the 220 so let's get this all unwrapped and unboxed all right first we'll take a look at the drop-in charger it's very plastic very Baofeng feely uh, DC 10 volt which is odd Kind of hoping it would be more closer to 12. Output of 12.5 volts, and this has an input of 10 volts. Well, you can do it, right? It's from China. And taking a look at the transceiver here, she does have a pretty good weight to her. Uh, quick run around, we got an SMA female. Feels like a dial, clicky. Power and volume. Couple of buttons up front, so on this side. I'm sure that comes off. There we go. So you got your headphone and microphone port. That's very stiff plastic. Uh, push button for release of the battery. Actual metal in there, a little cautionary tail down there for you. We got a PTT, one, two, and a nice little blue button down here. But all in all, it feels all right. Let's get the peel going. Oh yeah. Okay. Now taking a look at the battery, they do list it out as 7.4 volts and 1600 milliamp hours. It is really light, like you'd feel for some of those Baofeng batteries. I'm gonna slip it in the bottom and just well that clicks in nicely at least. A little button to take it off. We grab an antenna real quick. Now, it does come with two SMA male antennas. Uh, one here for the two meter and 70 centimeter, and the other one here for the 220. Size-wise, the 220 is a bit shorter and stubbier. Kind of like that, I can relate to it. My best guess is to, uh, they didn't have a, a, a tri-band antenna, so why not just send 2 meter 70 sim and 220. I bought this radio solely for the use on, uh, oh, that's got a good feel to it. I mean, it's still, don't get me wrong, very light and plasticky feeling, but uh, feels sturdy. Turning it on for us here, a nice little beep, and a beautiful bright screen, bluish looking buttons. We got three bands for you there. I'm guessing the band button I mean, we'll go over programming and all that other stuff in a later video, but uh, that's what she looks like. Pretty cheapy feeling, but hey, it was uh, $69.99, nice. Um, I got this particular one from buy2wayradios.com or something of that effect. And I um, think that's about it. Now you know what's in the box if you want to order one, so. Thank you so very much for watching. You have a very wonderful day. And, uh, bye bye Can't see my thumbs. Let's just get rid of this other stuff. It does come with 
focus. <laughs> <laughs>